Not too loud, Jerry? Too loud? No, too loud. You can hear the guitar. Okay. 7.32, we're a little late getting started, sorry about that. Uh, welcome to the Dominion, everyone. My name is Dave Roberts, I'm going to be sort of hosting the open mic tonight. Um, it, this is a bit of a special one for me, I'm going to make it a, uh, a, a tribute to uh, a fellow named John Dawson, who uh, is a fabulous musician, a professional musician actually, and he hosted, um, he hosted open mic for how many years, Sean? Several? Nineteen. Nineteen years. No, maybe it was only four. Well, <laughs> somewhere between nine, four and nineteen years. Um, um, but you know, suddenly, uh, you know, John passed away just over a year ago today. Um, uh, at my age, by the way, so it was uh, you know a bit shocking right there. Um, uh, I only met John twice, both times in this very um, uh, building, this this room. I opened mic uh, twice last uh, last October or last last summer, and um, you know, and during the conversations I had with him, I found out well, he has a cottage on the same lake as we are on, just on Bob Lake. Just just literally, I could see his place across the the, the lake, and I thought, and, and he's, he's talking about, well, we, we should get together and jam, and I thought, this is this is going to be amazing. I mean, this is an amazing musician. He lives right across the lake. He wants to jam. This is going to be awesome. And um, it is something. Oh, and, and then, by the way, I met him here, he, uh, he kind of jokingly apologized for his son that was going to be zipping around the lake in his green uh, sea. And I thought, oh, that's funny. And, and it was like a week or two after he said that, the guy in our lake connects or reaches out and says, there's this person zipping through uh, our, uh, like the narrows right in front of his cottage on a green sidhu, like it, it's Sunday morning, and it's like the, the super high and un, 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 irresponsible speed. And, I thought, oh, and he says, does anybody know anybody with a green, you know, seat? So oh, God, I think I do. I think I do. And I didn't have an email contact for John. So I reached out to Sean. And I said, hey, Sean, you have John's email? I said, I don't use email. I just use Facebook, right? So, uh, so anyway, I went to his Facebook and I made a friend request. He accepted it right away. And I logged in. I was like, man, this guy's got like 3,000 friends or more. It was ridiculous. I thought, this is wild. So I sent him a message. Uh, you know, on, on, on Facebook, he's back right away. I said, you know, oh, by the way, you know, this this happened. I think, you know, maybe you talked about your son and the greetings you do. And, you know, maybe if you could talk to him, I think that that's him. And he gets back and he's right away. He says, well, first of all, uh, you know, I've, I've told uh, my son to be very responsible around those types of areas. And he said, furthermore, I, I said it was like Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. And uh, he said, there's no way in the world this guy is out of bed before noon on Sunday. So it just was not him. And so, you know, I kind of, and, and then lo and behold, it turns out there's another green to do on, on the lake, and uh, it turned out to be not that at all. Um, but anyways, fast forward, just, just literally a couple of weeks after that, um, I get uh, an email. It, we have guests over on a Friday night, it's like midnight, they left, I just try to set my, check my email. I get the, an email from a friend, it's John's neighbor on the lake, I said, John passed away. And I was like, I was just couldn't believe it, right? And this is like, you know, Helen goes to bed, it's late on a Friday. I stayed up till probably three or four in the morning looking at Facebook and all the pouring out of, you know, messages and, and start, it was, it was, it was crazy. I was just going through this and I couldn't, I couldn't believe what had happened. And it's funny, they, what they say about, you know, uh, how the different emotions you go, like first, you know, again, I only met the guy twice. Um, uh, you know, but first, uh, you know, first I'm shocked. I'm thinking like, I can't. He's my age. He, he was perfectly healthy three weeks ago or something. You know, up here, couldn't be. And then, then you know, quite sadness. Thinking like, oh, that's really sad. His kids, his mom, uh, all that stuff. And then I actually went. I got angry. Really, I was thinking like, damn, I was gonna have all this great time, John jamming on the lake, and and I'm not gonna get to do that anymore. So. Anyways, it was it was it's quite something, and I still still his Facebook's quite active. I see all kinds of tributes and, and things coming around uh, for him. Lots of stuff has gone on, so he, he was quite an amazing person, an amazing father. Um, so, anyways, this this my set for the opening setting was going to be a tribute to John. Um, this first song, um, I 
I've heard of New uh, here uh, at the Dominion, probably just, just again, just over a year ago. And I thought to myself, uh, you know, um, this tune is like an orchestra. So it's, a, it's a Glenn Campbell song. It's his like most, you know, I, one of his most, it is his most popular song, and a very popular song, actually, you know, in, in terms of North America, it's one of the biggest. And I think, just couldn't imagine. And just, he pulled it off, and it's so amazing. And I made a note to myself right away. I learned that song. That's a pretty cool song. So we're anyway, going to start with. Uh, a tune from Glenn Campbell, and it's called Wichita Line. Terry, you gonna run that controls for me? Is it the different mix? Trying to 
be another just pick you up kind of guy trying to drink you up, trying to take you home. But I just don't want to stay and have another man to take your son and turn it ice cold. Well, I had enough to drink and it's making me think that I just might tell you if I were a player, I wouldn't change you. I would just paint you bright, baby. Cause blue looks good on the sky. Looks good, neon buzz on the wall, but darling, it don't match your eyes. I'm telling you, you don't need that guy. It's so black and white, you steal your thunder. Oh, baby, blue, watch your color. No, no. Mmm, and it's your color, baby. Looks good on the sky. Looks good on the neon buzz and the wall, but darling, it don't match your eyes. And I'm telling you, you don't need a guy. It's so black and white, stealing your thunder. Well, oh, baby, you want your color. Well, oh, baby, you want your Hello. Hello. Thanks, sir. All right, I got one more before I pass it on to some other musicians. Uh, this one I never heard. I never heard uh, John play, um, but uh, I, this is just another little backstory on this one. I think a couple seasons ago we were watching uh, The Voice uh, and. Uh, is when Blake and Gwen Stefani were judges uh, together. And some guy came on to the blind auditions and he did this bread too. I don't know if you guys remember bread, the band. It was a huge, huge band. Uh, I haven't heard much about them anyways. And they were going on about it this every day and how amazing they love bread and stuff like that. So you know, I'm going to look up some bread and get you some bread in my portfolio and stuff like that. So uh, anyways, I got a bunch of This is one of the popular ones. And, I think when I, when I look at the message of the song, I, I think of, not John, I think of John's kids. So this one is really more of a, a tribute or, or to John's, John's kids. It's called uh, Everything I Own by, uh, by Brett. And I've knocked it down a step because I don't have the, I don't have the range of the, of the Brett guys. So here we go. Sheltered me from harm, kept me warm, kept me warm. You gave my life to me, set me free, set me free. The finest years I ever knew. I 
singing it ever since he played it last month, but he's just not doing it two months in a row. That's okay. Well, I mean, well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a microphone over there, John? Okay. Let me help you with that. <laughs> 